has a new attorney general today. Governor Larry Hogan swore in former United States Congressman and Lieutenant Governor Anthony Brown as the state's 47th attorney general and the first African-American to hold the office. Prince George's County Bureau Chief Tracy Wilkins explains what Brown says will be his top priority moving forward. Congratulations, attorney general. Today, Maryland made history. As the attorney general, I am the people's lawyer. Anthony Brown is the state's 47th attorney general, breaking years of president set by those before him. All of them were white men. Uh, and of course, what we are doing today is ushering in a new era. It is not lost on me that I am the first African-American to hold this office. A former U.S. Congressman, Lieutenant Governor, State Delegate, and Colonel in the Army Reserves, Brown, a Harvard Law School graduate, has dedicated his life to public service, something celebrated today by incoming Governor Wes Moore. There's a whole lot of things that someone with Anthony Brown's resume and credentials and pedigree could have done, and he's decided to devote his life to the people. Brown says equity will be the focus of his office. He's asking legislators to give his office the power to sue those who violate federal and state civil rights laws, including in areas like housing and employment. Maryland reflects where America is going. So what deeply troubles me is the racial and ethnic disparities and equities that still exist in Maryland. His predecessor, Brian Frosch, says the attorney general's office in Maryland was implicit in upholding racist and discriminatory policies in the state. He says it's a record he believes Brown can continue to correct. We've overturned those unconstitutional opinions, but we have a long way to go to achieve equity. Brown lost to Governor Larry Hogan in his bid for governor in 2014. Today, Hogan thanked Brown for his record of bipartisanship. Which is in stark contrast with the toxic politics in Washington that you are now uh, hopefully escaping forever. Brown says he will quickly be returning to this chamber to make requests for a number of things, including additional money for the lawyers who work in his office as he works to correct a record of discrimination within the state of Maryland. I'm Tracy Wilkins, News 4.